Hello friends, let's solve this Olympiad question on the board. x cubed plus x squared is equal to 36. We need to find the value of x. So what do I do now? Now looking at this 36 here, I can split 36 to two numbers. One would be a perfect cube, the other would be a perfect square. Now because of this x raised power 3 and x raised power 2 here, that's why I'm going to do that. Now I'm eventually going to use algebraic identities as we proceed in solving this question. So this will be x cubed x cubed plus x squared is equal to, now 36, I can write it 36 as 27 plus what, 9. 27 is a perfect cube, 9 is a perfect squared. Now, let's put that together. So, x cubed plus x squared is equal to 27 is 3 raised to power 3 because of this x raised to power 3 here. Then plus 9 is what, 3 raised to power 2. So, let's bring this 2 to the left-hand side to meet x here. So, that's x cubed minus 3 cubed then plus x squared minus 3 squared, which is equal to 0. Using algebraic identities a cubed minus b cubed, which is equal to a minus b in bracket, and then a squared plus ab plus b squared. This is what I'm going to use on this one. Now, that will give us x minus 3 in bracket, and then x squared like we had there plus x times 3 is 3x plus 3 squared is 9. Here I'm going to use difference of two squares that's x plus 3 in bracket and the x minus 3 is equal to what? 0. Now compare this first term and this second term. You see now that they are separated with a plus. This is the first and this is the second term. Let's compare it. What is common between this term and this term? x minus 3. So let's factor that out. That will be x minus 3 in bracket. Then you are left with this. If you, if you divide this whole term by this, you'll be left with this. So x squared plus 3x plus 9. Okay, you can wrap it in a bracket. Then plus x minus 3 into this is what? x plus 3. All right, and this is equal to what? 0. So let's simplify what we have in this big bracket is going to be x squared plus 3x plus 9 plus x plus 3 is equal to what? 0. Now that will be x minus 3. And then what is this now? 3x plus x is 4x. That's plus 4x. 9 plus 3 is what? 12. All right. So this, this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. So if you move minus 3 over, that will be x equal to 3. But we're not sure if this has real root, imaginary root, or equal root. I'm going to use discriminant to test the nature of this root that this one has. From discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. Now, b is the coefficient of x, which is the middle term. a is the the one with the leading power, y c is the constant term. So let's test this out. What's b now? b is 4. That's 4 squared minus 4 times. What's a? a is 1, the coefficient of x squared. And c is what? c is 12. So this is 16 minus 4 times 12 is 48. So if you do this, what's 16 minus 48? That will be minus 32. Because of the negative value here, it means that this quadratic equation has imaginary root. And we're not going to bother ourselves with that. So x is equal to 3 is one of the solutions of this equation. So let's put it back here and let's see if when we put x equal to 3 into this equation, we're going to get 36. So this would be x is 3, mind you. So 3 raised by 3 plus 3 raised by 2. Let's see if it will give us 36. Now what's 3 raised by 3? 27. What's 3 raised by 2? 9. So when you add 27 plus 9, will it give you 36? Of course. So which means this solution is valid for this equation. Kindly like this video, share it, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.